Ladies and gentlemen, we're putting a quad slide Prevo to the test right now in action. John Walker is doing a U-turn. Thank you to TransWest Truck and Trailer and Emerald Luxury Coaches for sponsoring today's video. I don't know if you've ever seen a quad slide H with the slides out and then the slides in, but I'm gonna make sure I get you the footage of it right now. And a big thanks to John Walker with Emerald Luxury Coach for showing us this. And you do one slide at a time usually, or? Yes, sir, we do. Is there a reason for that, or? No, I just, you can do both of them if you want to. Okay. This coach still has a half bathroom here, so it's still really easy to access that half bathroom, but a little more difficult to get to the rear bathroom when the quad slides are in. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what a quad slide H looks like with the slide outs in. I was able to walk to the middle bathroom here very easily. Definitely awesome to see this coach both with the slide outs in and the slide outs out. There's not too many people out on YouTube doing that. I just have to mention how smooth and quiet this ride is. Right now I'm inside of a quad slide Prevo Emerald coach. Let's do this one more time. That's our backup camera, GPS, stereo system. Um, our navigation's on that as well. And you have a navigation screen or backup camera there if you want to watch it. It's optional uh, on how you like to operate or drive the coach. Oh, shoot. Sorry, man. I, that's what happens when you got a camera crew with you. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Now we're going to test the crate on see if we can U-turn. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're putting a quad slide Prevo to the test right now in action here. John Walker is doing a U-turn. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with the turning radius hey, of the that. H here. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> pretty nice. What we did on our cockpit area is we really focused on what Prevo had already built. What's going on everybody? I'm here with John Walker from Emerald Coach. Hey Andrew, how you doing? We've got a treat for you all today. We're here at the Emerald Coach site here at the Motor Coach Country Club in Indio, California. And what do you have here today? Well, it is a beautiful day here in Indio, California. MCC Resort is unbelievable. The weather's great here today. We've got a quad slide H on display. This coach just came out of production, so we're really excited about this coach. Real quick, before we take a look at these bays, I know Emerald Coach used to make a lot more X's than H's. How long have you been converting the H's for, and, and what caused you to make that transition from the uh, X to the H? Well, and, and maybe not such a transition, but when uh, Prevo came out with the new X, X3 model, we launched Emerald Luxury Coaches with the X3 platform. That kind of got us into the market. We're at a very good price point. We brought a lot of value with the X3. There wasn't as many people converting them, so that gave us an opportunity to look at some new customers. Customers look at what we were doing. Everybody was building H's, and they had built their production around it. We started with the X's, so it kind of gave us a, a, a little edge, if you will, in the market there. So we built those coaches for about two years and then we started building H's. We had people requesting that, so we brought some double slide H's to the market. Now we've got some quad slides. We have engineering for both platforms. We will build on both platforms. So we build, you know, bath and a half on an X3 and we have bath and a half on a quad slide. So we can do both and we will continue to manufacture both chassis. Try to keep the base simple. This is a big part for the customer. Our bay one and two, we try to keep it full storage. 
all the way through so they can store all the way. We've listened to a lot of customers and they want their base set up. It is difficult in a quad slide. You got the slide out to work around, but we've opened this up and as much as we possibly can. We do have some electrical systems and, and, and areas there. We try to keep it really simple. We use a lot of basic electrical stuff that you can get it worked on anywhere in the country. Our bays are really open and very serviceable. So that's what we got going on here. We do have a 65 inch TV that we, you can get in this bay. See how much work it is to pull out that, uh... wow, that was really effortless at how you pulled that bay out there. And then I'm also impressed too with how these bays, because it's a quad slide, normally the H bays would go up, but they kind of go to the side and they really give you a nice exterior entertainment area here. And just a ton of storage here. And it looks like the uh, Emerald staff is uh, weight training here in their free time. <laughs> Absolutely, all the time. <laughs> and then now uh, this is the Volta system. We'll talk about that a little more inside the coach. As much space as we can, but you still have some entertainment outside and, and customer can add anything they want to. So we try to keep it really flexible for the customer. And I just have to point out how effortless that is. Just completely, pretty much one arm, you just put that TV away. What's going on in here, sir? Well, that's our inverters and our Volta system. We're running a 48 volt lithium pack. It does have uh, the inverters on it. We try to keep it all right here in this in this one bay. On the other side of the bay is the generator. So this bay is completely full through the middle of the bay, if you will, and so that leaves those two open. Real serviceable. Try to get it where anybody can work on it and the customer can use it. It's functional. John just mentioned that this coach has the Volta system. I wanna point out one thing that you guys are doing that no one else is doing. You're able to do coaches with or without the lithium ion uh, battery technology is that you're offering it as an yes, option sir. is that true yes sir it, it is an option and we offer both if you want to use agm and you want this the basic inverter system that we've been using for years in this industry we offer that and if you want to step up to the the lithium batteries we offer that as with the with the both the system so we can give both it gives us some flexibility for customers and gives us flexibility on pricing and to the best of my knowledge you guys are the only company that offers it both way. I don't know of any other converters. They either do it with or without. So really cutting edge. And, and if I'm wrong, please correct me and drop a comment below, but I'm pretty sure you guys are the only ones doing it to my knowledge. So well, I think that gives us an opportunity as Emerald. Things in this industry have always been done a certain way, it seems like, and we've tried to change that up a little bit by listening to customers, not everybody wants that. So we try to get something that gives us an opportunity to sell a coach and earn business with a new customer. You know, as a detail guy, I just love looking through these plumbing bays. Just everything's so clean. Even the polished chrome on the insides here as well. And I just love admiring how, you know, industrial all of that hardware is. Try to keep the plumbing bay really simple. We've learned and watched customers use them. They spend a ton of time working and using this plumbing area when they're setting up the coach, standing the coach and using it. So we've tried to keep it as simple as possible. We've tried to use all fittings you can get local, work on it easy. Technicians can work on it easy because there is a lot of moving parts in the plumbing bay and it's so important to customers that this works right. That it can definitely cause a, a problem when you're out on the road when things in the plumbing bay aren't working right. So we really tried to make it serv serviceable. I spend a lot of time there. Love how clean this, this 50 amp bay is. You've got your air hose right there. Your water hose. Well, no, we got a ma macerator on oh, this Oh, macerator, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, and we got a 50 foot hose here so you can uh, pump your waste out. Got a 100 foot garden hose for your uh, city water fill. And then air hose for tires and other things that'll reach all the way around the coach. And then a 55 foot uh, power cord drill. So just try to keep it all here. Easy to use, easy to work on. All our uh, watchdog systems, tank monitors, gin monitors. Um, we do have a solar charger on the roof. We got a 1700 watt solar panel on the roof to keep our generator battery charged, trickle charged, and our chassis batteries trickle charged. Then we have an air manifold here that's worked out pretty nice too. So we got a manifold there. If you have an air leak or something, you can actually shut it off and everything is still operational. So it's all easy to work on, easy to fix, and easy to use because the customer spends a lot of time here hooking up and, and using these both of these bays, plumbing and the electrical bay. I love the big emerald 
logo on the front of the coach just really gives it a nice vibe there. I'm gonna close this door here just to, uh, man, this is a beautiful coach. We got a Nautilus seat, some Master Chief. What we did on our cockpit area is we really focused on what Prevo had already built. Instead of doing massive modification to the, the cockpit, we stuck with what Prevo had engineered, put together. We used all Prevo parts, all Prevo switches. So when you're at a Prevo service center, we're not overnighting a certain switch to get something fixed or running. This is all based on quick response time if you have a problem. And then, you know, everything is already designed from Prevo. So we use their dash, their switches, and their systems. We try not to hook up to the systems as much as other converters do. We try to use exactly what they have in place. It's been engineered, it's been tested. And so instead of redesigning everything, we kept, kept it simple functional you can use these switches with gloves on it drives unbelievable it's a 360 camera it has a gps nav uh, backup camera uh, has camera for your trailer your tow vehicle whatever you want to add so it's all built into one system and then you can you have a second display there if you do want to run it separate or individual this is absolutely gorgeous i've been in a lot of coaches but i really like the design of this completely different than any other coach I've seen. You want to tell us a little bit about this? You bet. This, this is a quad slide, uh, has the Prevo slides, floor level slide. Try to, to build the interior and, and build it off the outside line of the Prevo chassis so we can get as much floor space as, as possible living space for the customer. But we try to build it as light as we possibly can. We have all lightweight cabinet material, lightweight wall material. But then try to keep the colors really simple, but but very elegant and not over the top, but very clean lines. We have customers that seem to be requesting that. It's not crazy uh, chandeliers and, and sinks from Saudi Arabia, but it's still a very clean and it fits that new new feel of kind of our new customer base that we're bringing into the market. Our, our customers right now are not their first time Prevo buyers. They're, they're not on their third Prevo. They're, they're first time buyers. And we're listening to them and the look that they're they're after has a lot to do with what we see here because they've helped design a lot of it. I've been in a lot of coaches and I would describe it as a modern, clean, light, uh, just just really well designed. The sofa makes into a bed and then the, our, we're putting a dinette in. We have a lot of people requesting another place to sleep. This table goes down and you can make another bed there for a smaller uh, child or something. So you. You've got a good place to sleep for two teenagers if you needed to as well. Very cool. And then behind you, almost like an office area here? Or? Yes, we got it set up. Uh, we have a lot of customers who are still working from their mo motor home. So they're working when they're on the road. So we set this up. You can use this as a computer station. We've left it where if they wanted to add anything, uh, any way they use a, a printer or their computer, we can set that up for them. So this can be a workstation and real quick, it can be back to normal living, you know, a living area. So. It's, it, we try to give them as much space as we can there. With the kitchen galley though, still a full size kitchen galley. And one thing that we're doing is we're not blocking the Prevo windows. With our backsplashes and tile, we're opening them up because you get more visibility with the Prevo window than any other RV in the country. And with the quad slide, this is just such a big open feeling coach. Using lightweight laminates, uh, lightweight cab countertop material, just keeping everything light and easy to work on and, and easy use for the customer. Everything's lit, adjustable shelves. Try to make it where they can design it or use it any way they want to. Dishwasher there? Yes, sir. Has a dishwasher. Is there a certain brand of dishwasher? This is a Fisher Paykel that we're using. So. Fisher Paykel dishwasher, yes, okay. Yes, sir. And then we're using a Wolf. It has an induction two burner stove in it as well. Okay. So, it's a nice stove. Wolf induction. Yes. And a Viking microwave Viking there. Microwave. Yes, sir. And what's the finish? I really like the, it's almost like a matte finish on the cabinetry here. What kind of a finish is yeah, that? Yeah, it is a matte finish. So it's a, it's a flat matte. We can do it in high gloss. You know, each, every person likes something different. We did this in a flat matte, ran the grain sideways just to give it that new modern feel. Accent lighting here and then a bunch of small lights 
different yeah. styles of lighting really give it a nice feel. Lighting is so critical. Everybody's looking at the lighting. They want to know what you're using in lighting. So everything is LED. It's all dimmable. But we use a lot of lighting that they use on yachts or aircraft. It's a lot more expensive, but the quality is, you know, 10 times better than normal RV componentry. It lasts longer. So lighting is critical. I think it really sets what the customer feels when he's showing his coach to his friends. Lighting has a lot to do with it. We've got some different wall designs and with really lightweight material, but the customers really, really like it. And some stainless gives it a little pop, but all our stainless is very lightweight. We have nothing thick and heavy, but it still, it gives it that modern feel. All these panels are removable, so you can work on everything. So that you can, if a customer doesn't like this color that we've chosen, we can pop these panels off, recover something really easy. We get that question a lot, well, I don't like the color you've picked, or could I do whatever? And it seems to hold people up, but when you pop a panel off and you can change the fabric in 15 or 20 minutes, it really it really changes the, the, the sale or, or what they're looking for. So our panels have really, um, really brought a different feel to it not such a laminated wall like you see, uh, you know, traditionally in this industry. So yeah. it makes things lighter, it makes things cleaner. I absolutely love how you have the same finish on the cabinets on the on the refrigerator here. What's, can you show us the storage and everything going you on bet. here? Adjustable shelves here is try to give as much storage as we can in a quad slide, which is very difficult because real estate is small. But we do have a big pantry Whoa, here. Oh, huge. So, nice pantry. All carpeted. We got the liners where you can, you know, change them out if you. Uh, okay. Yeah. If you get get them dirty. Okay. They wear a little bit. Everything. So we do try to color coordinate the interior of our cabinetry, which is cool, and using these liners to match that as well. Okay. It has. We have a Fisher Payco uh, refrigerator. We put soft close hinges on it and uh, magnetic latches on it. So, it's got uh, adjustable shelves here, and adjustable sh shelves here. So it gives you a pretty nice size pantry. Okay, so, so you can adjust you can the adjust, different okay yeah, to fit whatever works for you. Very cool. And then this is a bath and a half floor plan. Bath and a half floor plan. We're doing bath and a half on all quad slides. It seems to be what you know definitely is what the customers are asking for. So you have a vanity in here and a, a toilet and a couple of uh, linen cabinets and the, so this can be designed any way you want to do it too. There's a lot of room here to do with whatever you want to do it. Does it have a pocket door here? We can design this either side of the coach, however you want it. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful half bath here. Trying to do a lot of the wall panels, integrate the wall panels in, not just so you have a ton of cabinetry, it makes things lighter. Definitely gives it a different look. I really like the different wall panels. You know, so many coaches are just loaded with veneer and wood and stuff, and these cool modern, uh everything's really symmetrical but it, it the lines just really flow well in this coach soft close hinges on everything oh yeah look at that that's cool with magnetic latches so they're a little quieter than the, the traditional rv latch it's completely carpeted and it's lit in there and then you've got a safe down there on the floor so just soft close just yes, sir. very cool and I'll point out too, just while I see, these light switches are very modern. We use the Crestron control lighting system. Um, simplified it as much as we possibly can because they can be very complex. Keep it as basic and as less switches as possible and keep them uh, hit as much as we could for customers. Beautiful. So is this a king size bed here? Yes, sir, king size bed. And then do you have storage under the... Uh... Yeah, we do. We use underneath the bed there. And we do have some components and stuff underneath them. So we give you as much drawers as we can. Just a beautiful design throughout this coach. These vertical lines, the way all of the lines line up on the different panels just really give this coach a great feel. And wow, this is a huge rear bathroom. This is this is a lot of room back here. John, you want to show us what's going on back there? This, this is definitely all about the ladies right here. This is what it's all <laughs> about. So, as much mirror as we can give them. It is a big bathroom. We used every inch as, as we could. Um, we got a mirror on the pocket door, so you, you can actually see the back of your hair. You can do everything you need to. Oh, right here. okay. Wait. So, so hold on. Where that's that's. Uh, yeah. So you got a mirror here. You know. Oh, that's intentional. I it's see that. Okay. This is where we keep our Crestron components and switches. Try to keep it simple. It's it's sealed off and it has fans to keep it cool. Yeah. But it's easy to work on. Everything is really clean. Everything is labeled. 
I'm very impressed with just how simple and how clean everything is back here and just a huge bathroom. Is that like a hammered kind of a copper sink there? Yes, sir. It's a hammered copper sink. We have a company that custom builds them for us, so. Nice. Laundry hamper Laundry back there. Hamper. And then uh, tile in the shower. Uh, what's uh, What kind of tile is this in the shower? Yeah, it's, um, I have no idea. <laughs> no, that's all uh, good okay um sealed and what kind of tile are we using we're eight dude we're 18 minutes in it my my brain sometimes i'm frying yeah no i do okay. the same thing yeah, no I'm no no drawing the blank no 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 you're good in an instant usually the the design in this shower too is just really cool how they use all these different tiles i'm i'm just so impressed do you choose like a certain it's just your interior designers that choose yes. all of these cool different uh we've got two in-house interior designers and they they travel and go to the main shows chase what's new out there in the market they want to use every inch of the shower space so we raised the ceiling up to the top of the chassis took the walls as far back as we can so it's a big shower for for the, for the back of a coach ladies and gentlemen i think that the folks at emerald coach were really trying to keep you ladies happy when they Absolutely. designed this rear, rear bathroom gentlemen happy wife happy life come get yourself an emerald coach <laughs> right. john i cannot thank you enough for showing us this 2020 emerald coach how can folks get a hold of you if they're serious buyers and they're interested in this coach or who can folks get a hold of well thank you andrew for stopping by and seeing us um we're real proud to be on, on, on your page. We appreciate what you do. Come by and see us at Trans West Truck and Trailer RV. We don't sell direct. We're the only converter in the industry that doesn't. You can contact us. You can come to the factory. We can meet you at the dealership. We, we can show you our coaches. So. We greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.